That guy died, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to the Bonfire. Forsaken Lands, a uh, city building kind of simulator. I really like things like this. We had Build Town, we had Life is Hard, quite a few times with Life is Hard. And this is right in the vein of those, so let's check it out. Start her up. And I'm on day 10 currently on normal mode. So it starts out really, really slow in this game. You just have your one little guy and you're like, gather wood 10 times to build the bonfire. And then people start showing up to the bonfire and you can put them to work. So obviously I've got three wood gatherers, three farmers, four guards, two miners. And uh, the guards do die. <laughs> I've had a couple of guards die in this playthrough already. Your uh, main dude doesn't serve that much of a purpose, honestly. Except to uh, kind of encourage and work with the people. He can't carry around a cart or anything. You're able to craft a lot of stuff. Torches are needed for guards. Wood spears increase the attacking power of the guards. Carts, really important. Obviously everybody that I have running around uh, has a cart with them. Which allows them to haul more goods. Iron axe increases the tree cutting speed. Pickaxe increases mining speed. Bow and arrow lets you uh, do some scouting things, which I don't really understand quite yet. And then the sickle increases the uh, the food production with the farmers. So, not too bad. There's also uh, shepherds, I think, that can turn food, extra food, into extra skins. But I haven't really had much need for them yet. So, we're just uh, rolling through, letting it do what it do, trying to get that tannery up. We need just a few more iron and quite a bit more wood. So uh, I'm sending my little dude to help out with the gathering of the wood. And uh, the guards are sleeping. The guards are only needed at night. Um, you start out just getting attacked by wolves and then like literal fucking demons will come and try and, uh, try and destroy your house or whatever. I mean, I don't really even know if they go for the buildings or if they're just uh, trying to trying to eat all your dudes or whatever. We've got another worker, you see, standing by the bo the bonfire. So he's quick-footed, which is helpful for wood gathering. Congratulations to our brand new wood gatherer. I'm gonna give him a cart so he can carry a little more wood. And actually I'll craft him a uh, an axe as well. That should be helpful. Trees can be chopped using the axe. Hooray! So let's, uh, oh, I guess, I guess I don't have any axes built. That's, that's a shame. We need three more. Set us back a little bit, but, um, it will overcome. You know what I mean? You, you, you invest a little bit and then you get to go faster. I won't go fast. So now it's nighttime and everybody should be going to Betty by. They eat their little ration of food before they go to Sleepy. And then, uh, the guards come out and basically we're just, we're just chilling. All night long, we're just cold chilling. So we need to probably craft some more uh, carts and things like that for the the farmers. The miners have carts? Does anybody have a cart? Okay, we need a pickaxe for the miners. So I can do that. Pickaxe, one. Uh, cart, I think three. We've got enough wood to do it. But that's also going to set us back just a little bit. Might not get this finished as quickly as I had hoped. But oh well. There we go. Carry item for you. Carry item for you. Wonderful. And the miners need, uh, what's that? Pickaxe. Pickaxe for you. And then we need sickles, I think, for the, the farmers. That would be good. One, two, do we have three farmers? I think we have three farmers. Could build an extra one, but I ain't gonna. There's a sickle and a sickle. And everybody's looking pretty spiffy. Uh-oh. And it sounds like there's uh, some nastiness going on. Yep, wolves are here. Just some wolves, though. They're gonna go down pretty easy. An attacking beast was killed in a bloody fight. Yep, and then we can skin it for either skin or food. And it's a skin. So hooray. The guards did their job. We have far too many guards <laughs> for for what happened tonight. It was just one wolf. I could have done fine with just one guard, but that's all right. It be what it be. Um, and I could also get somebody to scout with the bow and arrow, but I've 
I've not really found a purpose to that. Villagers can scout the wood with the bow. But uh, it basically gives you a quest or something like that. And often it asks for classes that I don't quite have yet. They're like, hey, you need a warrior and a cleric for this class. And I'm like, or this quest. And I go, I don't have either of those classes. So I assume I just build my town up a little more and that'll be just fine. So we've got farm, we've got a pasture, we've got the, uh, the workshop, we've got the forge. Everything going pretty well, all things considered. We just need to get some more wood. Wood is the, the message of the day. So these farmers all coming back should deliver 20 wood, which, uh, that's pretty spiffy. 5, 10, 15, 20. Wonderful! Everybody, do the thing! You can tell that the, uh, the weather is picking up now. Which is not a good thing. Everybody's gonna move quite a bit slower when it starts raining like this. I could probably switch one of those farmers over and make them gather wood. Actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, I'll go to the farmer. Let's see, hard-working farmer. You're gonna change job with X and become a wood gatherer. Hooray! And uh, he's the only one without an axe, so I need to craft him an axe. And I think we have a, a sickle in reserve now. Yeah, we do. So it does not go to waste, which is quite nice. And you get an axe. And my axe! Wonderful! So uh, you can scroll around your town with the right stick. It was a little disorienting when I first started it up to figure out what was happening. Because I expected it to be... Um, Quite a bit more interactive, like life is hard. But really the only interaction that you have is uh, directing things. And directing your guy to do stuff. But he doesn't really do much. You know, each of these workers is carrying back five wood. He only carries back one. Which is kind of, uh... Kind of crap. <laughs> it's good enough to get you started. But once you, uh... Start cooking with all these dudes. It... It, it, it quickly becomes, uh basically something that you're able to ignore um it doesn't matter so much is what i'm trying to say eventually we'll get everything uh, all figured out and completely expanded obviously i can clear the western path but i'm not really sure which way is west i assume it's uh these, these this copse of trees over here that the people are are mining from or gathering trees from so i'm kind of scared to clear it, but I suppose we should. At some point, the western path has been cleared, allowing access to the river. So now we can go to the river. Look at that. We can get the uh, coal mine, shipyard, hut by the river. We'll expand the amount of workers that we're able to have. Currently, uh, we haven't hit the max on workers, so we'll be fine. We'll be just fine. Let's get the tannery. That's what I think I need now. A wanderer stands by the bonfire. Well, you can be, uh... Hmm. I guess I'll make him an, an iron miner. Or maybe a scout. Or maybe a warrior. Or maybe a herdsman. He'll be a scout. That's fine. Obviously, many, many jobs. Um, perhaps these buttons should be made a little bit smaller. It would make the UI feel a lot cleaner. But, um, it's not bad for now. The tanner takes skins and turns them into leather. So that'll be nice. Won't that be spiffy? Um, iron armor, leather bag, shield. We need lots of leather to make a shield so we can have a warrior. Now I just need to figure out where we can, uh, where we can make that. I want somebody to make some leather, damn it. Can you make leather? Hmm. Tanner. Yeah. You're gonna be a tanner, not a scout. I lied. And there's something. A few more wolves. That's alright. We can handle that. Look at them. Another one for the fire! And my warriors just tore them up. Those boys got ate up! Let me tell ya! So, now we've got the, uh, the tanner. We should probably get a herdsman, just so we can, uh, get some more skins to turn into leathers. And then we could have people become warriors and such. That also means I should probably build the hut by the river at some point. You're gonna live in a van down by the river! <laughs> I 
I don't want to live in the band down by the river. Too late. Too late, bro. That's what happens. Alright, so we uh, skinned all them animals. That's pretty nice. I don't know how long it takes to create leather or whatever. But obviously my little fella can't do it all by his lonesome. It takes a very special skill set. You have to say to somebody, take this fucking skin and make it into leather. And that's all it takes. Then they've developed the skill set. It's magic. It's just magic. And uh, obviously you, you see the minus food and all that stuff when people go to bed. But there was also a minus skin there. Which I don't really understand why that is. I suppose, uh, I suppose I might find out at some point, or figure it out at some point. But the game, the game does an okay job with teaching you what you need to do. But, uh, it can also be a little bit harsh. A little bit harsh. So we've got some, uh, some more leather there. Some gems were found in the mine. I don't know what gems do either. Oh well, it be what it be. We've got, uh, shipyard hut by the river is what's gonna come next. Just in case some more workers show up. And we've got coal mine. That seems like a pretty good one too. But yeah, let's go hut by the river. Hut by the river! Iron armor, shield, sickle, leather bag. Leather bag seems like it might be pretty useful. I might also need some iron armor for my guards. More workers can live in the village now! Hooray! Welcome everyone who hasn't arrived yet. They will someday. We probably don't need so many farmers. Um, I'm going to switch one of these farmers over and make him um, a herdsman. That's what we need. Congratulations on your promotion, I guess. Is it a promotion? I don't know. It seems like lateral movement within the company. But you got to do what we say to do, you see? I just want you to, to make it happen. So this guy's uh, tanning. Tanning quite nicely, baking under the sun, having a little fun, and then what do we need? Five for a shield. That guy's gonna get it. And we've also got a couple more workers swinging by. So let's make a shield. Shield allows villagers to go on expeditions as warriors. Hell yeah. So we've made one shield. Um, this guy's strong, so obviously he should be the warrior, right? Uh, strong, quick-footed, wise, brave, they all do different things. Obviously, strong and quick-footed are pretty obvious as to what they do. But we'll make this guy a warrior. This other wise wanderer can be a farmer. I think that would be a good thing. Put a sickle. We need to craft him a, uh, a cart as well. So, obviously, city building management, it's, it's pretty nice. I really like games like this, as you might have, might be able to tell with a few of the other playthroughs on my channel. It's just really enjoyable. Really super enjoyable. I probably need some more uh, miners and things as well. I might have a few too many guards. Four guards? It seems like overkill. Until a big monster comes out of nowhere and starts to, starts to plunder your butt. And you're like, oh. Maybe, maybe I should do something different. Oh, the guard can use a sickle as well? Interesting. Maybe that would be better. I'm not really sure. It doesn't tell me what the sickle does. Like when you built the other stuff? Um, yeah, there was kind of a pop-up dialogue. Oh, iron axe can be used to cut trees faster. Okay, I know what that's for. Sickle? It's a farming tool, so I assume it was for the farmers who are generating food, but I guess it could also be a pretty badass weapon. Well, maybe we'll try it. Maybe we'll give one of these guards a sickle. Oh god. Alright, who's got the sickle? Look at that guy! Yeah, it's definitely better than a, a wooden spear. Alright. Oh shit! Look at that thing! Oh no! It's disgusting! Alright, kill it, kill it. Kill it! Oh my gosh! An attacking beast was killed in a bloody fight. Yeah, my guards took quite some damage. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't switch anybody out. And I got one meteor shard, which I assume is good. I, I kind of like that. Let's have this guy go down and work in the iron mine. Working in a coal mine, going downtown. Working in a coal mine. Oh, 
Oh, look at it. I am so tired. Let's get a couple of uh, carts together. Why not? Pickaxe. We'll just have an extra. An extra of all these things. I need like three sickles. I think that worked out pretty good. And then I, I also need some armor for these guards because they seem to be the only ones that are actually fighting things. So, uh, you can use a pickaxe as a weapon too. I don't know if this is a good idea to switch it, but, um, I'm going to. <laughs> Sometimes that's how we learn. A little bit of experimentation. Alright. So, uh, we're lacking iron most of all. I'm gonna put some more dudes down in the coal mine. And everybody's moving slow today. Taking a damn time. And that warrior is just kind of hanging out. Doesn't serve much of a purpose at the moment, I guess. Maybe I should switch him. I'm going to say, get down there. Get down there in the mine. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Can't just be hanging out all day. What do you think this is? What do you think this is, huh? All right, pickaxe for you. Cart. Craft another pickaxe. That's what we do. That's what we do around here. Iron axe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is going well. And that tanner is uh, taking his time as well. We've got plenty of food, so I'm not too worried about that. But my main guy needs to get back in the mine. Were you just hanging out? What, you think you're somebody special? Huh? You ain't. Nobody's special around here. Except the guy that doesn't eat food or sleep ever. Which is my guy. <laughs> He's motivated! I don't really know when this game ends or how it ends. I just played uh, maybe 30 minutes, got to this point, and I was like, okay, things are interesting enough now that we can see how the, uh, the city management is supposed to work. And it ain't too bad. I gotta be real honest with you. I wanna make this coal mine. Oh, come on, coal mine! I should take one of these wood gatherers. Wise, hardworking. I'll take the quick footed guy. And I will make him an iron miner. Congratulations! You get to live in the mines. Live in the mines! Alright, what can we build? Shipyard, coal mine. Mmm. Damn, that's rough. That is rough, isn't it? I mean, I don't really know what the coal mine does. What are you supposed to do with a coal mine? A wanderer stands by the bonfire. Okay, let's let's do the coal mine. I'll see if this guy is going to be uh, a coal miner. I've got the black lung, Pop. <laughs> I've got the black lung. Alright, so we've got enough for iron armor now. And a leather bag. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do with all that. Coal mine. Bam! Workers can mine for coal. Alright, iron miner. I want you to be a coal miner. Excellent! So many jobs! I'm creating jobs left and right. You're welcome. You're welcome, America. <laughs> we need uh, some more pickaxes. That's gonna be good. Iron armor. We have the leather. We don't have the, uh, the iron at the moment. So I guess that's just fine. Yeah, it's just fine. Everybody hang out. Let's go get some more iron. I'll direct my little fellow. And we'll see if these sickles do more damage. I assume they do. I mean, what would you rather have? A wooden spear, which is basically a pointy stick, or a really long stick with like a big metal hook on the end? Obviously one is superior. I mean, yeah. You want the sickle. It can do pokies just like the stick. You just kind of have to swing it. Swing it forward. Oh boy. There's a big boy. He killed one of my guards. Wow. He came out with some fury. Fury! Well, one of the guards is dead. But everybody's still happy. They're like, hey, we're not dead. Don't worry about it. That guy died, but yeah, whatever. That was, that was madness. So we probably need to switch one of our workers to a guard. But who... But who? Hard working. Hmm. I want somebody strong. 
brave. That's that's pretty good warrior. Hard hard working again. Um, iron miner. Okay. Zaya, congratulations. You are now a guard. Because obviously that guy got taken really really fast. <laughs> So we're going to need to uh, swap one of these one of these guys, these wood wood carrying guys into an iron miner cuz I need more iron. Everybody get down there. Get the iron. And uh also coal. Coal would be nice, but priorities. Priorities. I need a pickaxe. There we go. And then Where's my miners? Miner 49er. Okay. We're doing pretty good. Everything's going just fine. It's a little awkward to navigate around these menus with the shoulder buttons. I think you can also use tab. Um, but yeah. It's not ideal. I tried to use the keyboard at first. No, I tried to use the mouse at first. And then the keyboard. And then I was like, okay, you know what? This ain't working out. It's not working out for me. We got a steel works. Oh, we need a hundred coal for that. Well, the uh, the shipyard looks like it's going to be what's coming next. A small family of two has arrived. Some meteor shards were found in the coal mine. Ooh, here's a brave fella. You're brave, are you? All right, we're gonna have um, coal miner. You want to go with your with your spouse down into the coal mine? Are you guys spouses? Is that how that works? I don't know what's going on over here. But yeah, we'll, we'll put them both in the coal mine. That'll be nice of me. They can stick together. Uh, but we do need a cart. A couple more carts. Let's craft up that cart. I'm going to have some in reserve as well. Some gems were found in the iron mine. Wonderful. Good job, everyone. Doing a good thing here today. You can all go home proud. Proud of yourselves. Lay down for a little rest. Oh, yes. That's going to be wonderful. Uh, we've got enough to make some iron armor. So I'm going to do that and see how it, how it works. Does that go for guards? Armor. Yeah. Guards are going to be buff as shit. But I need that armor uh, quick. <laughs> Please, faster. Oh, Lord. Well, at least the ones that have armor are not going to be uh, get their butts plundered. But yeah, I need maybe another tanner. Another tanner. I could take somebody off mining duty. Since we do have plenty of iron mined up. Yeah, that ain't too bad. That's what I'm gonna do. Iron miner, um, wise, hardworking, strong. I'll take the wise one, and I will make you a tanner. Excellent. I don't know if tanners can uh, equip anything. A cart. Okay, why not? Sure. Sure. Do a thing. Whatever. It's all good, man. We're just we're just hanging out. Having fun. A hot bug juice. It doesn't come in a jar. Bug juice comes from how you are. I don't see the armor, iron armor on any of the characters that I put iron armor on to. Is that like the thing around their neck? It's hard to tell. It's very snowy, you see. I can't see much of anything. It's uh, snow blindness. Uh-oh. There's a howling wind. At least I hope it's the wind. Who knows? Oh, oh, there's one of them big boys. Kill him, kill him! Alright! Nobody died today. Good job, fellas. So, let's see. We've got two tanners, one herdsman. One herdsman seems to produce a lot of leather, although... I might find that once I have two tanners working the leather, we'll run low on leather. And we'll switch it out as as need be. As needs must! Alright. So that's another night. We got it done! 
Hit and run, get it done. Got about 50 guns. And then, uh, what is this leather bag? We need shields, we need leather bags. I'm gonna send somebody on a scouting mission. That's what I'm gonna do. Who wants to be a scout? Ooh, me, me, me! Let's take one of these farmers. Quick-footed. That's, that's good for a scout. Requires bow and arrow. See, it doesn't really tell you what it does. The other ones are like, minus food plus skins, minus skins plus leather, plus iron plus coal. Scout is just kind of like, you can scout! <laughs> okay, great. There he goes. Him in his little pointy hat. Going on a scouting mission. Good luck, little friend! He's gonna do great. Don't worry. He's gonna do great things. And this is, uh, this is going pretty well. If I do say so myself. We have enough wood to build the shipyard? Not quite yet. That's alright. It's coming soon. Coming soon! To a theater near you! Oh, look at this fella. Marching over. Dressed all up in his fur coat. Where's that iron armor? I don't know. If it's iron armor, sell it to me. Hey, sell me that. A pilgrim arrives from the islands of Un. He brings stories of the legendary Idris. Tell me more! Hello! Pilgrim says he needs food for his journey. Five food? Yeah, we could spare that. There you go. He narrates the legend of Idris, imprisoning the Titan and hands over his armor. Yeah! That's exactly what I wanted. Some gems were also found in the iron mine. But alright, cool. We got some more armor for this boy. We could craft up some more, uh, some more of that. Yeah, we're working the leather through pretty quick now. We got iron armor for everybody! There you go! Check it out! Don't you guys feel protected now? Hail! Praise be! Let's build the shipyard. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Now we need more iron. I'm gonna switch one of these coal workers. One of these coal boys, you gotta go back to the iron mine, I'll tell you what. Um... Change job to iron miner. Ooh, villagers can now leave on ships in search of new lands. Hey! That's pretty spiffy. What, do I need to turn them into, uh... Sailors, or what? Nope, not an option for that yet. Some meteor shards were found in the coal mine. Working in a coal mine, going downtown. Working in a coal mine, whoop, but I to get down. And there's another wanderer. <laughs> hmm, what do we need? I think herdsmen. We'll get that leather. None of the scouts return, their families mourn. Oh god. <laughs> we sent him to his death! Oh, how could this happen? Alright, let's make another bow and arrow. You want to be a, a new scout, <laughs> little friend? Let's see, has not eaten in days. We probably shouldn't send him out as a scout. Uh, you could be you could be a, a herdsman for now. We'll pick another scout shortly. Hmm. Yes, this is building up quite nice, is it not? Sixty. So we need more iron, as per usual. I mean, wood would be nice too. I rather like that wood. And I don't understand why my, my main little guy can't can't farm any coal by himself. He knows what to do in the iron mine. Guess what? It's basically the same shit, bro. <laughs> Didn't you know? I wanna see what this uh leather bag does. What do I what do I do with this? Wood gather. You want a leather bag? Uh oh. Uh-oh. Sounds like a baddie. They coming on down. Oh, it's just wolves. Just wolves. Whatever. Fuh. What a joke. Oh, I put on iron armor to fight off a bunch of wolves. Huh. Yeah, whatever, dude. Ha. I laugh. Quite heartily. You see? Alright. I still don't know what the leather bag is for. I should, uh, figure that out quite shortly, though. Just need to get all these beasts skinned. Because actually, I think my, uh, the main dude is the only one that can skin beasts and such. 
which makes him at least a little bit useful. So let's see, farmer, you you need... No, he's got a cart. He's good. Who needs a bag? He's got a cart as well. Okay. Anybody need a bag? If you need a bag, I got gotcha. you. I don't think anybody needs a bag. <laughs> this is a bunch of crap. Maybe scout. If we have a scout, they might need a bag. Um... I don't want to get rid of our last farmer, because I know that food is not going to last forever. Let's, uh, let's move one of the tanners. Let's see, hardworking or wise? We'll take the wise one, and we'll send them on a mission. Scouting mission! Yeah, take the leather bag, too. There, that's what it's for. It's for the scouts! I should maybe have uh, given him some armor as well. Is it too late? Maybe he, maybe he'll come on back, get this armor. Nope, he's gone. <laughs> We've got a couple of wanderers here. Let's see. Quick-footed. What should you do, Mr. Quick-footed? Gather some wood. And uh, here's a cart and an axe, so you can do your job most proficiently. Ah! Oh, I am just uh, the kindest. The kindest of all! Should we send another scout? Hmm. Explorer requires ship. How do I make a ship? What? I want to make a ship. Dang. Dang, y'all! All right, well, for now, I'll put her in the iron mine. So kind am I! Enjoy your trip to the iron mines. I need to craft some more carts. Always run out of carts, you see? Ah, such a struggle. Alright. How how to build ship? Maybe we gotta do steelworks first. But that should be built by the end of the day, I suppose. As long as these iron miners do what they're supposed to be doing. Come along, come along. Everyone? Everyone at once now. Cool! We probably could use another farmer as well. Just one lone farmer? Mm, that's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. Five skin, five skin. Yep. Minus five food. See that shit? Some gems were found in the iron mine. Why don't we build the steelworks? I'm gonna swap the, uh, the herdsman. I want you to be a farmer now. We need to keep that food supply and uh, give him a sickle. None of the scouts returned. God damn it. This is terrible. Why is this happening? Uh, let's see. Who's strong? You're strong. You're going to be our new scout, okay? <laughs> oh, we probably need a leather bag for him as well. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. I'm going to give you a leather bag, okay? And I'll give you some armor. Yeah, alright. Now that scout, he ready. Workers can now produce steel from iron and coal. Oh. I see. So we're making a steamship, are we? Mmm, yes. Quite wonderful it could be. We're running so low on wood. Well, I guess that's because we just built the... Whatever it was, shipyard, something like that. There's nothing left to build. Oh my god. Steel armor, ship. Oh, I see. Steel armor, steel sword. That's what we need. Who's Who can be a smithy? Is that an option? I can make somebody a smithy. Who wants to be the town smithy? Steel worker. Oh yeah. That's nice. Oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> ah, that's ridiculous. My fucking dude died. That's it. That's how quick it goes. Should have had the guards in the front, but my dude had no armor, and uh, he got ate up. Anyways, I think you get the idea. That's basically the end game. Get the steel, make the ship, explore new lands. Uh, hopefully get your scouts going so you don't just end up, uh, you know, stuck. You can do quests, things like that too. 
I wasn't able to do it the last time I played, but yeah. This time I just ended up dying in my own settlement, so that's how it goes. If your main character dies, then good night. Good night, sweet prince. It's not a bad game overall. I I hope that it will be tweaked just a little bit more and expanded just a little bit more, as I hope for most games. But overall, I find the concept extremely, extremely solid. So wonderfully done. Thank you for watching, friends, especially if you've watched this far. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. We've also got links down in the description to the Steam store if you'd like to check this game out. We've also got Twitter, Discord, Patreon if you'd like to support me on any of those. I would be so, so appreciative. Once again, this has been The Bonfire, Forsaken Lands. I do hope to see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.